From a galaxy far, far away, the stars speak. And India listens. Say hello to one of the world's largest radio telescopes. Just like your favorite radio station, our universe emits radio signals. Waves from the Big Bang that made our world are still reaching us today. Pulsars, throbbing, burnt-out stars also throw out waves. Yashwan Gupta's team in Pune receives those signals. And in them, they read both our future and our past. Unlike the radio waves that we use uh, for talking to each other, say on a phone or on, on the radio, radio waves uh, uh, that come from celestial bodies actually don't have sound. They just represent the natural physical phenomena. Uh, that are happening in stars and galaxies. And so when we uh, receive these radio waves, we are able to learn about these objects. Work on the GMRT or the Giant Meter Wave Radio Telescope started way back in 1985. At that time, Gupta was still in college. After passing out of IIT Kanpur, he moved to California for his PhD. When he came back in 1990, GMRT was already a hotbed of breakthrough engineering. The reflecting surface is not a solid surface like you see in a typical satellite dish. Uh, it's actually a very thin, fine mesh. And when you do that, you save in terms of the weight and the cost. And more importantly, uh, the things like uh, forces of the wind are drastically reduced. There are 30 of these giants in the complex, each half as wide as a football field. Like your home dish TV antenna, they focus weak radio signals onto a central receiver. Gupta worked on the electronics in these listening posts, making them sensitive enough to discover two whole new stars. Pulsars are very special kinds of stars. Uh, they are basically uh, very small stars. They are like 10 kilometers or so in size, like size of a typical town or a city. So much smaller than the Earth, but containing as much material or actually slightly more than what is contained in our Sun. And they are very exotic laboratories of physics. For his achievements, Yashpant won India's equivalent of the Nobel Prize, the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Awards. Back home, the scientist gives way to the doting father and husband. On an average, I will say 15 days a month, he is away. And whenever he is in town, like on weekends and all that, he makes up for the time when he is not here. Making home videos is a family hobby. And Kritika and Vishaka are Dr. Gupta's favorite stars. Their growing years are just a blip in the timeline of the cosmos. But their smiling faces are what recharge Yashwant for his next big discovery. The GMRT is today world famous, but Dr. Gupta and his team are planning to make it bigger. They're working on an upgraded version of the GMRT, which could take another three years to complete. Coming up, a scientist who laughs his way to success, India's Agniputri and our very own rural inventors.